Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss Heather. What? I hope you guys break it down with me because it's not cool that you don't. So you just gotta be like, get it? Yeah, I'm crazy, guys. I know. I know. Hi, everybody who doesn't know who I am. I am Heather B. Dutcher Diva. Been doing YouTube for a little over a year and I have like close to 500 videos. I have a lot to say, okay? I do. I can't help myself. But <laughs> before I get started, guys, if you like my content, you like the videos I do, which I, it's now a lot because it's different things people ask for, so I try to change it up. I'm still working on a name for my second channel. It is not health related. So if anybody has ideas, pop them down below of what I should name my second channel, which is going to have like, um, you know, makeup stuff and reactions and stuff with kids and vlogging. It's not going to have anything to do with health unless it's what I personally go through. So if you guys have any cool ideas, drop them down below. And like I told people, if I pick somebody else's name, you win something and I'll send you something um, of things, whatever I have, and I'll let you know. And you decide what you want. Or I was going to do a three pack of Dr. B stuff. And if you have dentures, you know, it just depends on what you want. But I wanted to do this video because with COVID, a lot of people that didn't need to get dentures got dentures or working on the press of getting dentures. Even people that waited so damn long to get dentures are now finally getting dentures. And I wanted to do an uplifting video because I know this process sucks. I went through it, guys. And for anybody that doesn't know who I am, I went... I was put on an autoimmune suppressant. I have a multi-tissue connective disorder, which means I have multiple autoimmune diseases. Three of them are rare and deadly. Um, but the whole thing is, is that, sorry guys, somebody's calling me. Like really in the middle of a video? My mother. <laughs> Dead ass. But it's, it's hard guys. I went through sepsis. I had ended up with like a bonus sinus infection type thing, but when it's my bones dropped down and took out all my top teeth. Um, then I ended up with a partial bottom cause I got those molars taken out cause it traveled and the tooth was hooked. My dentist didn't know, popped out, broke it. So I haven't gotten a partial yet, but because my dentist, okay, I need one root canal and my insurance won't do it. Yes. I have Medicaid, Medicaid. If you ever watch this shit, please get it together. Seriously. If you want to save teeth, actually save them. But because a root canal costs more than an actual denture, they want me to take out all my eight healthy teeth to put in a full bottom denture for the bottom. So I'll be doing that soon. On April 27th, I go for my bottom denture impression and I get sent away and whatever else goes from there. But you guys have to understand when I went through with sepsis, I was taking clinomycin and had sepsis for months. It was like five months. And because of COVID happening, my doc, my dentist literally went a month away on vacation, but they were trying to save my teeth. And I appreciate that because I wanted to keep my teeth, but they kept pulling out one by one and nothing was working. It spread so fast guys, because my immune system was shot from the meds. My body had no defense. I had no choice but to take them out. So I set it up for January 6th when he, the first patient, the first person right after he came back from his Christmas vacation, being a month away in Jamaica. And you know, I got them all done. At that point, after waiting five months, I was freaking ready. First of all, I took Ativan, which I call the Ativan Fairy. As you guys know that, the bitch made me happy. I was like happy back in the time. I was taking pictures and shit. I was high, guys. And it was only 0.5 milligrams. <laughs> My doctor's like, Heather, take a milligram. No, homie. I don't want to be dead. I just want to take 0.5. Novocaine didn't work for me because... It's rare, by the way, so I don't think it's going to happen to you. Um, it didn't work for me because the infection was so bad. So bad, guys like pain like no other so bad oh if you hear yelling those are my kids they don't listen when i say i'm doing videos i have kids but the pain was so bad like it didn't work so they did from this on um without no became he's like i can send you to a neural surgeon which is stupid if you take your teeth out if you take just say the top row you take them out this two weeks later this two weeks later this a month later your denture is gonna be like small big small big small big you're gonna have the worst denture fitting ever. And I tell people, if you want to separate top first and then bottom, that's cool. But don't be taking out different teeth at different times because your gums, your denture is just going to be wibbly. It's going to suck. So I always tell people like, just don't do that. Just get it done. Get the top done first. I mean, I did the bottoms and the top first while well, half the bottom and whatever, but yeah, Novocaine didn't work. So I made the choice. I was like, pull them. You know what it's like to have teeth pulled out of your head without numbing? I do. Fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. Um, 
But I look at it this way, nothing lasts forever. No good or bad lasts forever. And without the rain, which was my shitty experience of getting my teeth pulled, I wouldn't have the confidence I do today with my denture. So yes, it was worth it. But everybody that's, you got to understand my story was different from you guys. 90% of people will never go through what I went through. But I'm still here. I still talk to you guys. I still do anything I can to help you guys. And if I don't, I just try to be encouraging, you know? But stop canceling your damn appointments because you're afraid to do this. The, the longer you wait and sit on this, guys, the longer it's going. You're not going to do it. You're going to chicken out. And you can't do that, guys. You can't. Please, please push yourself to do it. You need to talk to me the day of, the day before, the every freaking day up until. Do it. Many people message me. I am not some bougie chick that thinks I'm higher and above of everybody. Absolutely not. I'm just as equal as you are and vice versa. And I did this to help every single damn person. So in the description below, you can find Instagram. Don't message me because on there because I don't talk to people on there. I don't. I get some weird, creepy people. So I normally don't go on Instagram much unless I'm posting a picture. But email me or you can message me on Facebook. You can be part of my denture support group, which is also down below where the link is, um, which has grown really huge. Um, and Terry's my moderator because she's been with me since forever now. And um, she's good at what she does. I freaking love Terry. So please be respectful when you're in my denture support group, guys. I don't tolerate anything. Nothing bad. If somebody called somebody stupid once and I bounced them out real quick, I don't care which excuse is. I don't care if you're having a bad day. Do not in any way belittle someone ever, let alone in my group or outside of group in your human life, in your personal life. I don't care. Don't sh take shit out on people. Always treat people the way you would want to be treated. And this process is hard. I know it is. But if I can do it, guys, there's, there's no way you can't. Like, you can do this. And yes, it takes courage. It takes strength. But it's very quick to get it done. It really wasn't bad at all. The only thing that sucks, guys, is when, you, when you're when you healing. Because you got to understand, it's healing pain. After you get this done, you're just healing. It does get better. It really does. I always tell people, the first 10 days suck. Really, the first few days to a week sucks. Um, If you have immediate dentures, because the immediate denture can, like, you know, because of the swelling, scrape in and out. But you can do this. And I have more confidence now with my denture than I did with my real freaking teeth. You guys got to understand, your this is a new chapter of your life. Put your bad teeth, put your infections, put your pain all behind you. Make this freaking leap because you don't start living until you step out of your comfort zone. Get the process done. We are all here for you guys. I made this community for a reason. You're not alone. There's so many people right now that are going through this and in the future they're going to go through this. You're not alone. And all the people in my groups, they are so caring and so sweet and they answer all the questions anybody ever has. You can get it from so many different aspects. Um, and I appreciate the hell out of my group because there's some, gr uh, so many great people in there. So many. Um, but you can do this. There's no way you can't. You're, you're bettering your future. You're bettering your life. You're doing things that you should do. What do you want, my creepy kid? Thomas, see what I told you guys? I can't do videos. What, Thomas? Hi. Hi. Doing a video, buddy. Oh, yeah, I told you guys. You gonna sit here? Hi. Creepy kid. Yep. He can sit here. Can you shut the door, though, so I don't hear the walking down in the background? Yeah. Sorry, guys, for the interruption. I could edit it that, this out, but I choose not to. Because I'd rather you show the real version of me and what I do on a daily basis. Anybody who doesn't know, that's my little one, Thomas. Mm -hmm. The bigger one is probably eating or watching The Walking Dead's new episode, in case nobody knew that. It's on. Do it. Sneak in the backstory. Mm -hmm. um, Thomas, your perspective. Come sit. We're going to ask some Thomas some questions. Let me ask you some questions, okay? Yay, I love questions. Okay. When you first found out I was going to lose my teeth, how did it make you feel? Like, what did you thought? Were you scared? Were you, you know, afraid of me? Did you not like the way I looked? Like, what did you feel? My first thought was, oh, come on. <laughs> Facts. He can tell you. I'm a hot mess. I go through so much bad shit. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Especially the holidays and my birthday. No bueno. I swear, I was like... Next, after the last bad thing you had before that, I was like, next thing you know, she's going to end up losing her teeth. Yeah, you jinxed me. Thanks, kid. Yep. <laughs> no, but seriously, were you scared of me? Did you look at me differently? Did you feel differently? No, I was just worried that Stevie would make fun of you. You were worried about Stevie making fun of me? Yeah. Stevie didn't make fun of me, though. Mm -hmm. Thomas is the sweet one. He's the one. Thomas, I'm trying to put you in frame. Um, he's the caring one, and he's the nurturer. He's a lot like me. I'm a nerd. He's a nerd. But he's a lot like me. Um, 
Thomas likes when I take out my denture and I make certain funny faces. So all you people out there that are wondering, you know, if your kid's going to judge you or not like you, it's not the case. You're still their mom. You're still their dad. They're still going to love you no matter what. Teeth don't define you. They enhance our smile, but they don't change who you are as a person. They don't. I was depressed when I first got it done. I wouldn't look at myself in the mirror. I had him look at my clots and to make sure everything was there and what it looked like. And, and I just, he just described to me and I just I was like, okay, it's good. That's how I didn't want to look at myself without teeth. I still don't, you know, it feels like I'm not me, but you guys need, you guys got to understand bad teeth, periodontal disease, all this shit that comes with bad teeth can actually cause heart attack, stroke, blood infections. You can literally die from a tooth infection. I almost went through it guys. Well, I had sepsis. Don't, don't let your fear of the unknown stop you from giving yourself a better quality of life. You can freaking do this. I promise you, you can do this. Even a kid's telling you. Yep. Tell them. You can do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but seriously, guys, don't give up. Please. I see so many people saying, Heather, I canceled it again. The more you cancel, the more you put it off, the more scared you're going to be. Pull off the band-aid. Get it done. It's worth it. Yes, healing is going to be different. Yeah, you have, I didn't have a really much of a talking problem except for like hard G's, like the word gag or like gas, like that kind of G mo thing. Or bees. No, I had no problem with bees, but that um, bees. but the whole thing is, is that if you read out loud to yourself 30 minutes a day, even twice a day, your speech comes back very quickly. Um, You know, for the people out there that don't know this, if you put adhesive and you use it on your denture, Make sure you let it sit and stay there for 45 minutes before you eat or drink because adhesive is a glue and it needs to dry. Um, but you got to push through this. We all go through new things in life. You know, you guys all went through new stuff between new jobs and new relationships and, you know, new everything. But you push yourself and you did it. I have an anxiety disorder and I wanted to live because if I died from a damn infection because of a medication, I would have been pissed because I can't leave them. They only have me. That I'm all they got. So I fight my ass off, not just for me, for my freaking kids. They are everything to me. <laughs> but I've noticed, like, people say you lose taste with dentures. No, you actually don't. It's really mental because most of your taste buds are actually on your tongue. 90% of them are on your tongue. But we're so used to smashing things on our palate, moving it around. We have some taste buds up there, but it's not dramatic. It's not. And it, like, if you lost your tongue taste buds, it'd be one thing. But what's holding you back? What is it? Because you can talk to me every day. You need motivation. You need somebody ride or die. You need any of that. I'm here. That's what I do this for. But if you don't get this done, you're going to end up harming yourself in the long run. And you can't get that back. If a doctor's like, oh, you put damage on your heart because of all the tooth infections, you're going to be like, shit, if I just got it done sooner, would I still have more of a chance to be alive? Yeah, you would. Get it done. Get it done. And I was talking to many doctors and dentists and stuff lately, and they said that the increase of dentures has gone through the roof because dentists shut down in a lot of places like mine and, you know, all these things and nobody could get the health care that they needed, you know, to prevent getting dentures. And now so many people need dentures and it could have been preventable. You know, it's just bullshit. But I get on my kid's case all the time. Clean your teeth. You get one set of an adult teeth and you need to make sure you take care of them. Um, but realize, guys, that nobody really starts living and enjoying their life until they try something new. Step out of your comfort zone. Do it. Is it going to be better for your health? mental, definitely, because when you see yourself, after you're done healing and your denture's in the right spot it's supposed to be at, which is like a month or two or whatever, um, you're going to love your smile. You know how many pictures I get daily about how people love their new smile and how confident they are? You know, eating can be tricky. Honestly, I really have noticed that mental is a state of mind is what people's journey is going to be. If you go into this negatively and rushing the system and be like, oh, I should have ate yesterday when I just got my dentures and well, you're going to have a really shitty time because you... no, don't expect crap. What you need to do is take one day at a time. Do not ever take out your denture at any given point unless you're going to bed. 
Unless it's like the first 10 days and you got to salt warm water rinse four times a day. That's one thing. But I'm talking about daily denture stuff. Never take out your denture. I want people to be like, oh, it's hard for me to eat, so I take it out. No, it's going to be hard to eat at first. Keep eating and practicing with it. And then you can eat like I do. I eat subs, pizza, steak. I eat everything. It's so good. It's so good. But I strive for it. I refuse to let myself down. I refuse to give up. You only fail if you give up. Even if you mess up whatever amount of times, the only time you fail yourself is if you actually stop trying. Keep pushing through. You can do this, but it's temporary, the pain. So temporary, guys. Your gums have to toughen up. That's why you have nose. Uh, see, Thomas, stop sniffling and I won't say nose. That's why you have issues and stuff, you know? So it's like, you can't give up. Push through it. You got this, man. You got it. There's no way you don't have it. Don't let your anxiety and your, your fear get a hold of you. Control your fear. Control it. We all have that good and bad, you know, not really bad, but like good and bad subconscious. Don't like the one that's weaker and scared and afraid. Take away the good. So don't let your fear take over anything, guys. You guys could do this. I promise you on everything. You can do this. Get a hold of me anytime. All my information is down below. And if you guys need anything, you need help with anything, you need information, you want me to research, just get a hold of me. Don't be afraid, guys. Um, but I do love you guys. And thank you guys for watching my stuff. But if you need me, I'm here. If you want to ask anybody in here anything, drop stuff down below. People read the comments. They'll help. And I don't allow mean people in here, so don't be afraid. You will not be judged. I promise you, people get booted quicker than anything. But have a good day, all. God bless and stay safe. Later.